Hello, greetings one and all, and welcome back to another video here with your host, Andrew. Today, you actually join me for an ink exploration video, and I'll explain after the titles why that is. So, I'll see you in a sec. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so apologies for not being able to do the Joya review this week. I had planned on doing it. Unfortunately, the pen just it didn't want to work. So I reached out to Grand Vision Pens who kindly loaned the pen to me for review. I reached out to Luxury Brands of America and I also reached out to Joya and all three of them have been absolutely fantastic in their support. I think it's just unfortunate that the model which I received just didn't want to write. So that video will be coming next week and I look forward to reviewing it. Okay, so on to today's video. What we're going to be doing is an ink exploration video. I will be giving you a little bit of a tutorial on how I go about uh, doing it. And it's going to be somewhat simplified just to keep the length of this video down because I really want to try and highlight the inks themselves. So I'll be doing a little bit of a tutorial. There'll be some relaxing sort of video to sort of watch me draw. And then I'll give you some final thoughts and feelings on the inks themselves. So join me over at the table where I'll actually start doing some drawing with you. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so we've got some bits of equipment I just wanted to go over to start with. We've got a nice mechanical pencil. It doesn't really matter which one you use. We've got a, a Monzo Zero uh, precision eraser. Again, if you can find a precision eraser from your favorite brand, that's perfectly okay. We've got something round to draw around as a template. We've got some nice paper here from uh, the Cosmo Air Light. Uh, and that is very, very nice what we're going to be doing. And then we've got a 30 centimeter ruler as well. Now the inks I wanted to particularly highlight today was the peach from Robert Oster Signature. We've got this beautiful, beautiful ink from Tasha, which is uh, uh, Bennett, uh, I think it's Bennett Sushi, which is very, very nice. It's like a terracotta actually. And then we got my favorite Diamine Oxblood, which is probably one of my more commonly used inks. And I will talk a bit about these inks after the video itself. So what we're going to do to start with, I'm going to take the equipment off and we're going to start doing our drawing. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to find our halfway point because I'm a little bit, uh, I like to be a bit precise when doing this. So we're going to do 210, which is divided by half, which is 105. Perfect. And then we're going to measure down at the bottom as well. And I want to try and get these um, circles, a bit creased there, never mind. Um, we get, want to try and get our circles as centered as possible. Uh, so let's just measure 105 down at the bottom as well. Fantastic. And then we're just going to put an extremely light line all the way down to the bottom. Just let the pencil do its thing all the way down. Perfect, okay. I'm not gonna to be too precise about where I actually place the circles because I'm, later on I'm gonna actually scan these in and uh, adjust them on the computer, but as long as we're getting it roughly in the right place, we can write about the centering of this later on. It's just like, I like to try and get this as precise as possible to start with. Perfect, so we've got one circle. Two circles. And then we've got the third one coming along. Oop. I think it's so well. Now normally when I do my artwork, I would actually add an outer circle as well, but as today is really just about the actual inks themselves, it's not really about creating a masterpiece. I'm not worrying about doing anything too complex. So I'm just going to use this as a base to rub out. And then I'm going to rub out the, the lines which I made. Okay, so you probably barely see the actual rings themselves, but you want to try and keep this as faint as possible so that you know when we come to actually rub out, we don't have 
the pencil being the dominant feature on the actual artwork. Now it's important that when you're doing it on a quite a light paper like Cosmo Air like that, you do it on something relatively rigid. If you do it on a soft material, what you'll end up creating is like a channel and it will make rubbing out a bit more tricky. I've also noticed that on these very smooth papers, um, it can have a tendency to make things look a little bit shiny at times. So it's important to try and get your drawing as precise as possible. And then we're just going to also erase out these center lines because we don't need those now. Just need it as a guide to get us into the center. Fantastic. Okay. And then really all there is left to do is your design. So cue the music, sit back, relax, and I hope you enjoy the next bit.
Okay, so full disclaimer, I am not a technical person when it comes to the properties of inks. I'm not gonna go about drying times and so on and so forth. Um, there are plenty of videos out there and websites which can talk about it. So I'm briefly gonna talk about my impressions of them as inks for drawing with. And yeah, I'll take it from there. Okay, so Bennett Sushi uh, from Tashia. I apologize if I'm buttering Japanese, but this is a lovely ink. It's quite a dry ink, and certainly in the Wet n Wise uh, Comfort uh, from Tamanuya Studios, it did perform a bit drier um, today. I have tried this ink in other pens, and it does lay down a wetter line, but I just thought I'd uh, try something a little bit different today. It's a beautiful ink. It's got some nice browns in it, um, but it's also got some nice reds as well when it sort of shades deeper, so it's got quite a lot of uh, dimension as an ink. Next of all, I'd like to talk to you about my favorite ink, which is Diamine Oxblood. Now, it does have a tendency to smudge a little bit if you're not too careful. So, as you can probably notice on this center, hopefully, if not, I will overlay. Um, I did get a little bit of smudge, which is a bit of a shame, to be honest, but, uh, you know, <laughs> it can't be helped. It's it's one of the inks where you have to be really methodical about how you actually work around and as you may have noticed in the video I was turning my artwork quite a lot to try and reduce that but unfortunately uh, it wasn't to be and um, yeah I got one small smudge there which was a bit of a shame oh well uh, it's a really beautiful flat shading red though and when you lay down the inks you get like tones of browns and it draws into this like really nice dark burgundy red very nice Last but not least, um, Robert Oster. Now, Robert Oster is one of my uh, most collected inks just because of the versatility of their shading properties. And I have to say, they're beautiful. Really practical bottles, um, really nice wide open aperture for filling. And peach is just a really nice warm color. And for autumn, I just thought those three colors would sort of symbolize the sort of richness of the leaves, which you might see falling from the trees and maybe even still hopefully hanging on from the trees uh, for a little bit. So I'd like to try and get to Stourhead at some stage and maybe do some Stourhead inspired art. That would be quite nice. That's, for those who don't know what Stourhead is, it's a National Trust property not too far from me. And maybe at some stage I'll do a video there. Anyway, that really leaves it for today. Um, hopefully you can see from an aesthetical point of view how nice these inks are. I'm not really one for talking about inks other than the fact that, well, they look pretty. Uh, so yeah, that really leaves it for today. I um, hope you enjoyed it. If you've got any recommendations for autumnal inks, please do leave that in the section below. Uh, do leave a comment, was, did you enjoy the video? Um, I'd be interested to know um, if you'd like to see more videos like this down the line. So that's it for today. Thank you for watching and I shall see you in the next video. Till then, stay safe and goodbye for now.